how I see business is that there are five different stages to getting to 300K per month and becoming a board member. So stage one, um, which I call artist. And that's zero to 10K per month. Um, simplicity, all these stages, simplicity is key. One offer, one traffic source, one audience, <clears throat> one way to convert to sales calls. Do not focus on website, business cards, stupid shit like that. Um, honestly, not even paid ads. I see a lot of people wait, like, that was me when I was starting my agency, my first business, and maybe you guys can resonate where we spent so much time on making a great fucking website and getting business cards and thinking we needed to do all this like fancy, we need to be a legitimate business stuff. No. Um, what we need to do is. You're, you're looking right there. That, that's what we spent. <laughs> we, we spent a lot my of biggest, time, not necessarily money. On my the biggest on. issue has been payment processing that has been my number i have had nothing but issues with payment processors since freaking november the minute i get any processor up above 10k i'm getting slapped stripe paypal i got veeam i just finally got my llc and ein this number this morning and i'm going through like literally like oh, my Billy, biggest we'll, issue we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> Let's yeah like we'll definitely talk about that. I want to stay in the flow with this. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do your thing. So being in phase one, the skill sets, copywriting. The biggest thing is just doubling down on the influence and persuasion skill set. Um, so that will double as like helping you with your offer creation, helping you with your copywriting, writing. It's about um, being able to influence and persuade others, which most people, if they're not making 10K per month yet, aren't very good at um, influence and persuasion. Or if they were really good, they would be making more than 10K per month, right? Um, things to do. Um, be of value to people. Book five to 10 purely value giving calls in exchange for testimonials. Getting as many throughout all the stages. It's about racking up testimonials, delivering client results, and getting testimonials. Best thing that I ever did when I went into coaching was book 10 one on one calls, purely value giving, saying, Hey, um, launching a new program, looking to uh, get some testimonials and help people out beforehand, opening up 10 one on one calls with people, um, and just looking for a testimonial if I help. Um, got a bunch of testimonials. And also, I reached out individually to people that I thought I could help. I went through my text messages. I went through my messenger and just reached out to them. Purely value giving call. And four people ended up joining my program. And then I got six testimonials, video testimonials that I used in marketing out of that. Um, also, I just told Natty to, to do that a few months ago for his new coaching program. And I think he enrolled two or three uh, guys at $15,000 from just, just doing those purely value given calls and leading in with that. Um, does that make sense? Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, offer one sheeter. Really, all you really need to know about any offer, but at least initially creating 
your first offer or any offer. Um, let me put these in circles. Problem, current situation. Yep. Promise. Um, Andrew, I have a question. Yep. So let's say you have something like an app. Those five to 10 calls that you're talking about, is that something that should happen? Yes. So what really helps with those five to 10 calls is that you start to develop raving fans in your audience. And after those calls, those people engage more on your posts and in your stories. Plus on those calls, you get a lot of good feedback on how you can actually develop that app to be even better to solve the problems that your ideal clients are facing. Um, so it just helps all the way around. The main thing for this stage is, and you're doing a great job of the, the content piece. I don't know about the uh, conversations and call piece, but um, things to do, focus on the three C's, content, conversations, and calls. Okay. In this initial phase, we wanna build up a lot of data points and that comes from getting feedback on our content and seeing the comments, having conversations with people um, like in DMs, messenger, text message, whatever and getting on calls with people and getting that feedback. We'll get so many data points that will optimize our offer and our delivery in time. Plus we develop raving fans from just communicating with people, right? Got it. Um, I think where a lot of people fuck up is they try to automate right off the bat when they haven't had enough content conversations and calls and they're not actually speaking to their ideal clients because they haven't built up enough data points. Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. Okay. Um, so any offer just comes down to three Ps. Um, the problem, the promise, and the process. So what's their current situation? What are the problems that they're struggling with? Um, just start with bullet points, record the conversations that you're having, and get really clear on their tribal language that they're using. And when you record the calls and that sort of stuff, you can actually just copy and paste um, what they're actually saying about their problems and that sort of stuff um, and speak their language. Um, getting really clear on their current situation and their problems, identify what their goals are, what their dreams are, what, what they actually wanna get out of it. And it's like the, what are the goals, but also what are what are the other benefits that they get from achieving those goals and get really good at uh, clearly describing those things and the process. So what are the steps to move them from their current situation to the desired situation, right? Now, at the beginning, it's not going to be fucking clear of what the steps are. But over time, you'll start to de develop that. So for us on the self-mastery side, it's energize, evolve, execute. Like it's going through that pattern to move, your, move you guys from a state of overthinking, anxiety, to really mastering your fate and being able to point your thoughts, feelings, and directions to where you want them to go. It's just energize, evolve, execute, right? Um, Steps three to six, I wouldn't go above six with those. And we didn't have a dialed in process for a year in Masters of Faith. So give it time. But the replacement for this are the core components. So We have this inside of the group growth and monetization blueprint course. This is where 
I mean, I've worked with like Cole Gordon, who runs the $30 million age, uh, sales agency now, Eli Wild, Bastion Slot, who's doing over a million dollars a month now. It's phase one. We just start here. It's simple. It's a Google document. It's who is this for? What are the core components of it? And how does it work? Um, it's really simple. Make it have like really sexy language and all that. Um, but where people fuck up is overselling and giving too much information on their offer and not hyper-focusing on the problems and the promise. And that's basically what this does. It's like, here's where you're at and here's the ideal client. And then here's how it works. Here's basically where you want to go. So you're an expert or entrepreneur that wants to grow and monetize Facebook group. And I believe you can grow your following 2,000 plus members and launch a digital product that produces 10K within eight weeks. So here's where you're at. Here's where you want to go. Here are the core components. And here's how it works. Um, and notice I didn't dive super deep into the problems I could have, probably could have there but I'm relying more on the, the promise of that. But creating a really simple Google document like this, if anybody's zero to 10K listening to this or on the call right now. <clears throat> um, Andrew. Yeah. Are you, gonna, are you gonna post this recording somewhere? Okay. Yeah, I got you. Cause I gotta go to another meeting, but I, I'm loving this though. So cool. I'll watch it back. Sweet man, I'll send it over directly too. Oh, thank you. All right. I'll see you guys. See you, buddy. So I know most of you guys are not at that level, but you might be serving people at that level. So that's really good to know. Um, then stage two. is, what do I call this, the builder? I um, believe so, go with builder right now. So this is 10K to 50K per month. Wouldn't that be reversed? Wouldn't the artist be stage two and the builder be stage one? No, damn it. <laughs> no, uh, how I see it is like, when you're in that zero to 10K range, you don't know exactly what you're creating so you've kind of got to go through go with the flow and when you're like painting something you like fuck up a little bit and you're like ah oh, shit and then you kind of got to bring it back it's kind of you want to be you want to be flowy and like water and flexible in that zero to 10k range to really see how things line up and how you can create a beautiful painting out of your business does that make sense so builder, um, you've got traction, um, you've got your core offer and where people usually fuck up in this stage um, is, it's not really a fuck up. It's just like, you're getting more clients um, and you're thrown more into delivery. So you lose sight of filling top of funnel and nurturing the audience. So you typically, if that happens and you're not hiring and you're not leveraging in this stage, you go through that income roller coaster where it's um, it's like, I'm focused on delivery. Clients are getting results now. Shit, I'm not getting any sales. I got to go back there. And then it just produces this income roller coaster effect. So uh, issues, income, roller coaster but how to break out of that <clears throat> is starting to develop team and processes very simple processes so team you want help on the client fulfillment side and the sales side. So I didn't have this process, but I lucked the fuck out in Trap of Buyers where it was scary as fuck 
to hire a client delivery person at 5k per month when I was making like 35,000. Um, but I pulled the trigger, I did it. And that helped me so much to be able to focus more on filling top of funnel and generating more calls. And then I hired a commission only salesperson who would set calls and take some calls because he was really good. Um, and we were able to scale very quickly past this stage. Um, I kind of just fucking lucked out where it was like, okay, I need these fucking pieces and then got them in place and was able to scale. Um, at least part-time, putting somebody in place for fulfillment and getting a commission-only salesperson is crucial for this stage to go to the next level. Does that make sense? Cool. So... Yeah. Um, skill sets, um, client fulfillment and creating that system, getting really good with that. Um, so building that, that skill set, um, <clears throat> uh, delegation, small team management. Documentation, Loom, yes. Documentation slash SOPs. <clears throat> um, start to systemize the marketing and sales process. Usually in this stage, the marketing and sales process isn't super dialed in, but starting to systemize and simplify those two processes. That kind of goes under things to do. Um, do not focus on over committing capital. I see uh, another big thing that people kind of fuck up in this stage is when they start hiring, they overhire, and then all of their capital is drained, and then they get super fucking stressed out and go back on that income roller coaster. It's about starting small, hiring a couple team members at um, starting 10, 20 hours per week, and building up the skill set of delegation and documenting things for them. And I would also add like team meetings, uh, team meetings slash accountability. Um, so it's really dialing in that offer um, and uh, getting team members that help you get out of the as much fulfillment, making sure that your clients are supported 120%. And um, I would also, a VA, $10, uh, or I've started calling them remote, remote workers rather than VAs, just because VAs just kind of put you in a different mindset, but somebody that you can um, delegate little things to like editing videos, um, being on calls to help put tasks in and that sort of stuff. Does that make sense? Cool. So. Stage three, I'll call it systemizer right now. I had a different name for it, but I kind of forgot. 50K to 100K per month. <clears throat> so a lot of people say one offer to a million dollars. Cool, maybe. Um, I was I had a back end offer to get us past 100k, and that actually really helped. 
it produced more monthly reoccurring revenue in our business that gave me a lot of peace of mind. So I think I launched that around when I was doing like 75K per month. And then I launched a backend offer that was a year long, that was 2,500 per month. Um, and that initially I got four people in there and I sold it at an in-person event. And that 10K, 10K per month reoccurring gave me so much peace of mind, like building up that MRR. So with your, if you're in an agency, you've already got MRR, that's awesome. Think about like other ways that you can support your clients that might be, uh, that they might pay more for. Consulting, that sort of stuff, that's a possibility. And you could do that in stage two as well. Um, and uh, so that backend offer gave me a lot of peace of mind with the 10K coming in. So in coaching, the more you can bake in the monthly reoccurring and really get more of that will give you so much peace of mind. And that's basically what I sold my business off of. I had over a million dollars worth of contracts coming up in the next 12 months. And that was a big piece of what the, what Michael Chu was buying from that. Um, <clears throat> so it might be an MRR offer, but the key here is dialing in the sales, the marketing and sales sales system. So in these two phases, you should be collecting a lot of testimonials from your clients and dialing in the messaging and what the offer actually solid is and developing your conversion mechanism from your audience to a booked call or on a, on a sales page. So really dialing in your conversion. <clears throat> Um, team, uh, client fulfillment, full time, client support specialist for fulfillment. Um, other things that you can do is client specialists. So I brought in, um, Sarah, uh, what was her last name? I forget her last name, but she was really good with messaging. I paid her like $1,000 per month to do four, one, uh, four group calls per week and to um, help out in the Facebook group inside of the community. Um, and pretty cheap, brought on Brad Newman too. He started as a client uh, specialist, 1000 bucks per month, helped with um, sales and coaching around that that sort of stuff. In the agency, you can bring in some contractors um, to help out with specialized videos or whatever you, you can kind of enhance to your offer to get your clients a result, right? Um, and I feel like agency is more going the hybrid model of done for you and coaching. So something about. Oh, one thing that I forgot. This might be in phase one too, is book, keeper, know your, know your financial numbers. So making sure that you have bookkeeper in place. If you guys need any introductions to my bookkeeper, she's incredible. You can do that. Um, <clears throat> full time sales rep, maybe two to full time SDRs, or you can call them setters. SDR is sales development rep. You want to, cause you want them to compete against one another and push one another, right? <clears throat> um, at this point, um, Contractors, so hiring contractors to help you out, either build a funnel or optimize a VSL or something like that. Um, just really dialing in those processes from people who know what they're talking about. Um, 
And know that the salesperson and the SDRs are commissioned. Um, the sales specialist can be really cheap. Um, and then for the fulfillment, um, the, the full-time coach to support your clients um, or on the agency side, somebody who is just there to answer support tickets and request forms and that sort of stuff might be a little bit cheaper in agency in coaching. Um, in coaching, you're looking at like 5K to 6K full time, and then you can give them bonuses based on upsells, referrals, and testimonials, mainly upsells and referrals. <clears throat> And uh, VAs for operations help. Um, looking at like $10, $15 an hour to get the small things off plate, video editing, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> and one towards the end of this, one to two people on your leadership team. So towards the end of this, you want to start getting more brains in place, the leadership team. So how I think about business, it's a lot like a um, lot like a human being. You have the two people at the top that set one to two people at the top that set the vision, the values, um, the this basically the signal of where you wanna go as a business, it's like the heartbeat. And then as you start, and you're doing a lot in the beginning stages, but then you wanna move more towards that thinking role and that like heartbeat role um, and really injecting the feeling into the team. And then you wanna start developing brains. Um, so people that can interpret that heartbeat and signal and start to delegate to the hands, the people that actually do it. Does that make sense to you guys? Cool. Um, <clears throat> skill sets, leadership. Um, all of these stages getting really fucking good at influence, persuasion, marketing, and sales. Um, if we double down our influence and persuasion skill sets, that's going to help us so much in leadership once we start developing a team. And then marketing and sales, just always being good at getting our mission out there and getting people to exchange their money for our service to solve their problems through marketing and sales. Sales. <clears throat> and thinking. So as we scale, we want to move more from the doing and more to the thinking and more to the delegate. Getting really good with OKRs and project management, um, data, KPIs. And so it works. What's that? <laughs> Got it. Orcs. Exactly. Or okay. <laughs> Creating, really developing that machine. Um, in stage four, I'll give you guys a cliffhanger for next week. This is 100K to 300K per month. And we'll talk more about that next week. But the thing is, is like each of these phases are uh, usually a plateau in people's businesses. So getting to 10K and then people usually plateau and kind of bounce between and go on that income roller coaster. But if you focus on these, you can blast through that income roller coaster. And then you kind of hit that 50K plateau and then develop these and you blast through that. And then the 100K is usually a plateau. And then um, getting to 300K, usually a plateau. And going from, I've had so many conversations about this, 300K per month and beyond is about making your team rich, having more brains on your team that can actually make decisions 
and delegate to the, the hands, right? Does that make sense? Cool.